What's up you guys, it's your girl Lori Lee and I am back with another video. As you can see from the thumbnail and the title in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys another balloon garland tutorial. Shout out to you Backdrop for sponsoring today's video. They sent me this lovely, huge red shimmer wall backdrop to use for today's video. It's an eight by eight backdrop and I use 64 panels. Each panels are 12 by 12. So shout out to you backdrop. Thank you so much for sending us this product. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be using balloons to dress it up. So if you like to see all of that, make sure that you stay tuned for the rest of this video. So before we get started, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and also leave me some comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know what other type of Christmas themed decorations you'd like to see on this channel. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. So I'm gonna be using four colors for this balloon garland. I'm gonna be using red, white, and green. The red and white I'm gonna be using from Qualitex, gold, I'm gonna be using from Balloonia and also some that I have from Amazon. And I'm also gonna be using the Fashion Forest Green from Batalitex. I think it's the perfect holiday green. So the sizes I'll be using today are 11 and five inches. I was gonna use 16 inches, but I have so many Mylar balloons that I'll be adding to this garland. And I feel like that's enough. Like the 16 inches will make the garland too grand and I have a lot of mylar balloons that is gonna make it grand enough so the pump i'm gonna be using today is my handy dandy amazon pink pump and i also will be using my hand pump to inflate my mylars and my five inch balloons so you know when we're inflating balloons we don't like to have cone shape for garlands because like this is pretty ugly, come on now. So in order to get your balloons to have a rounder shape, what I'm gonna be doing is opening up my two fingers that I have holding the mouth part right here and just squeezing to release some air until I get the round shape that I want. And because I'm only using 11 inch balloons, in order to get your garland to have an organic look still by using one size, I always just make one of my balloons larger than the other one for my pairs. And that way you'll get a more organic look for your balloon garland, especially when you're using one size. So, See how my balloon got rounder? I'm, so I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. And as I said earlier, I do want one of my balloons to be larger than the other one. So I'm just gonna release some more air from this one to make it a little bit smaller than this. For my balloon garlands, I usually make clusters of eight, but nowadays I find myself doing clusters of six. So that is what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. I'm gonna be making each of my clusters a cluster of six to put my garlands all together. So I'm gonna make two more of those pairs and show you guys how I make my cluster. So here I have all three of the pairs six balloon in total and i'm gonna make my cluster of six all i'm doing is just wrapping the balloons and then taking my other one and wrapping it in and now i have my cluster of six i'm gonna be repeating this for all of my other colors the white and the red and for my gold balloons i'm just gonna be attaching it to my clusters as I go along because I did not want to have a whole cluster of gold. I just wanted like a little bit of gold in my garland as accents. So I'm just going to show you guys this one, how I'm going to be attaching my gold. I'm just tying it by the neck. So I have this neck right here and then I'm just going to be tying it to one of the necks in the cluster. I'm not doing it for every single cluster, just some. As I said, I just want a little bit of gold in my garland as accents. I was gonna use five inch chrome gold as well, but I feel like that would be too much. So I just want a little bit of gold in my clusters. Here 
Okay guys, so I have all of my clusters inflated here and I think I'll need six for each side. So right here I have 12 clusters, four of each color, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I put together my garlands. If you've seen any other of my other balloon garland tutorials, then you know that I don't use like any fishing line or ribbons to put my balloon garland together. I just tie each cluster by the neck. So I'm starting with this red cluster and I'm going to be attaching it to my white cluster and I'm just attaching it by tying each cluster by the neck. So I'm filling around inside each cluster for the, the stretchiest neck and attaching them just by tying them. This method works for me. I know it's not easy for everyone, so I would suggest you use 260s or fishing line to attach your clusters. But for me, I like this method and I like how um, tightly together it brings all my clusters. Okay, you guys, so I unfortunately lost audio in this part of the video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover. So basically, instead of six cluster that I originally said I was going to use, I ended up using seven clusters of six, and that ended up being around eight feet of balloons, which is the length of the backdrop. And I'm gonna be using 260 to attach it to the backdrop, and when I when I attach the base garland to the backdrop, I will have a little bit of space on the bottom of my garland, but that is on purpose because I need a little bit of space at the bottom so I can make it fuller at the bottom and have a little more oomph going on to it. And you guys will see what I'm talking about when I start putting that together. But all I'm doing right here is basically just attaching the garland to the backdrop using 260s and I showed you guys the very up close and easy method that I use when I'm attaching garlands. And then I'm just going to be inflating extra clusters or using some leftover balloons from another project to add it to the bottom. And those leftover balloons have a little bit of 16 inches in it and it's going to make the bottom fuller. Then I'm going to be using my 5 inch fillers to bring the garland all together. I'm also going to be showing you guys how I inflate those on camera so you guys will have an idea for, for the ones who don't know what 5 inch fillers are. They're basically just 5 inch balloons inflated to about 3 inches and then I make a cluster of 4 and use rubber bands to attach it to each garland or each cluster. I try to do at least 1 to 2 filler per cluster just so it does not have too many fillers and at the same time I'm covering all of the empty holes and spaces that I have in my garland. All right, guys, so we're almost done here and I inflated my Mylars. So I have some candy cane, some mint candy, I guess. And I have these gift boxes. I did have more, but I'm only going to use two for this video. So those are the only Mylars that I'm going to be using. And I have a bunch of them right here, so I'm going to try to fit it on the garland like I want to use all of them because I wanted to have a lot of mylars I did have some other candy like these but I don't think they match the backdrop because it this green is like 
a lighter green like a lime green and the green that I have for my balloon garland is way darker so I don't know if you guys know this trick when you're attaching mylar to your balloons you can either use glue dots and stuff like that I normally use glue dots but I found a new trick recently where I just use a scotch tape and it works perfectly so that's what I'm gonna be doing taking a piece of my scotch tape and attaching it to my mylar then onto my garland and I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this video up and add all of my mylars where I see fit you guys make sure that you're tucking in all of these tails you can also use a tape or glue dot to just fold them under just so they're not like hanging and for like these smaller ones i like to just cut them off just make sure that you're not cutting them in the wrong places but i like to just cut those off or you can also use the tape to fold them under too Okay guys, so to top off the backdrop, I do have this sign that I DIY'd. If you guys would like to see how I made this, I do have a tutorial on my channel, so you can go ahead and watch the tutorial to see how I make it. But the backdrop is all done and this is the only thing it's missing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add it. Alright you guys, so there you have it. The backdrop is all done. Please stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see the full montage and edited pictures of how it all turned out. But I really enjoyed making this video. And shout out to you Backdrop again for sponsoring today's video. If you guys would like to purchase this shimmer wall or any other product that they have on their website, you can use my code down below that they provided just so you can save some money when you're checking out. Thank you again you Backdrop. And if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, already please go ahead hit that subscribe button give this video a like and also leave me some comments in the comment section below let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if it was helpful let me know if it was easy and simple i want to know everything also if you guys have any video suggestions you can leave them in the comment section down below thank you guys again for tuning into today's video and i'll definitely catch y'all in the next one bye